Hello everyone, this is Softex Sahal and today we will learn how to connect the EP core to Postman and in the Postman software we will try to see how to create environment, how to send the requests and how to get the responses from the EP core through REST API. Here I have already created or generated the API key from the EP core from uh, API key maintenance. Then I have uh, provided the access scope and then I have generated the link from the REST API. So this is my REST page and in the REST page I have already executed this for uh, currency and uh, I am going to use this request URL in the postman and I will try to get the data from the postman through this link. Okay, so I am just copying this link and using this link in the postman and send the request for the currency master so this is my postman software as you can see there is a collection environments history okay now i'm going to click on the new button and just taking a http request okay and i already copied that url i'm just pasting that url it will come the parameters um, whatever the parameters we have selected there it will come automatically then we need to provide the authentication and in header we need to provide the api key which we have created or generated in the ap code okay so for the authorization i am providing this basic authentication which is username and password and then i am going to uh, this uh, header sheet and you taking the key as a x api key okay so this is important it should be a x dash api dash key and the value we have already stored in the notepad plus plus i am taking that and try to run this one so this is my api key i am taking this api key and put it into the value and send as you can see this is json file is created and uh, the response is coming from the ep core this is a third party software as a postman and we are calling the request to epicore for this currency master okay and we are calling get list function and we are getting the response from the epicore so this is a simple request from the postman and we can paste this link and we can get the data get the response from the epicore okay if you see in the right side uh, left side top of the left side there is a uh, multiple methods get post put patch delete head options so we are going to use this get post is for sending the data put for saving the data patch delete for deleting the data and all so we are just going to use this get for for now so this is a simple request we have completed now i am going to create the environment and then uh, I'm going to add the request in the environment and then we will try to run So here there are multiple options to create environment from here. We can create new We can click on the new it will come the environment then there is a create a environment button So I'm just clicking on this environment. So before we start I just want to tell you why we are creating the environments if you can see in this URL we are providing this domain name then our uh, epicore instance name so i can hide these things so if you see my domain is will be the constant but other thing can be changed like environment then o data then company and method these parameters will be changed okay but my domain will be the same so postman is providing this sheet uh, as a global if you go to the global there is a variable list okay so we can create as a base url so that we can use this url in each and every environment wherever we want to use we can use so i am using this as a base url okay so i am creating a variable name and there is a type type is saying that this is a simple value or you want to hide this one so if i am taking a default and i am taking this url uh, I'm taking this URL if I want to 
hide this one i can hide as a secret okay and if i am giving a default and it will ask you want to change the type yes then you can change as a text okay plain text so for this we need to take the secret type okay so this is our global variable is declared so now i don't required to use this one okay i can call from the global sheet okay now we have created the environment here we will provide the other thing like our ap core ap core uh, environment name so i am giving okay ap core environment uh, give me a secret and then i am just calling this ap core best okay Uh, what what is the next uh, i don't want to show the company so i am just uh, taking company as a variable i will provide as a secret type and i will provide this value into the environment okay and uh, another thing i need to put this is a po if there is a baq or something whatever the method or s we see i am calling i don't want to show others so that i can i am also creating this svc type okay secret and then i am going to give as the same copy paste so as you can see my environment is created i have created this uh, variables as a environment i'm giving this name as a test inv okay and in global i have created base url now what is the use so i am going to save this one okay i'm going to save this also and now i'm going to change this one i have a globally this one i'm going to use variable as a base variable if you can see there is a g in the background of blue means this is this variable is global variable i'm taking this as a base url global variable and instant is coming from your environment okay so environment is separated by this uh, another so as you can see here it's not showing the environment variables we have created so what we need to do is we need to go to the environment sheet and here we need to activate this environment okay so we need to click on this button set active okay and when we click on this button it will change as a active and then when we can go and we can search from here it will come here okay so logo will be the green background and e means a environment and we can also provide this as a variable okay so i am taking this as a variable and then i have selected the company also so i am taking company and then i am taking this uh, business logic variables okay so we already provided this one okay and then other things are okay if you want to say we want to change your uh, this value api key you can also provide as a environment secret value okay but i am giving sim simple no problem okay now i am going to send this one and it will run automatically okay so now we have created the environment we activate and then we provide the uh, this parameters and you can see uh, the other person will not able to see what is the variable and what is the actual url and environment and company name and other things okay if i want to change this api key as a secret so what i need to do is i need to copy this value from the value uh, and then i am going to create a variable as a api okay key and i am going to give the type secret and paste okay now i am going to save it then i need to go to back and check the head header in the header i need to remove this one this value and 
open this bracket and you can see API key. Okay. Now I'm going to click on the send button and it will respond me all the data. Okay. So this is a postman we have already connected with the EP core and as per this you can create multiple REST APIs keys and you can call from the postman and this data you can use from the another softwares okay this URL you can use and in the uh, mobile application or somewhere you want to use okay I hope you understand thank you so much